What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. The Goodlock team has pushed out a brand new update for the One Hand Operation Plus application which brings in some new features. In this video, I'm going to show you those features but before we go ahead, if you're new to Samsung or if you're new to One Hand Operation Plus application, this is a wonderful application which enables us to use the phone in just one hand. We can use the swipe gestures to execute some action. We can use a swipe right, swipe up, swipe down gesture for both right and left handles and set some actions to it for example if you want to swipe up and hold on the phone and turn on the flashlight you can do that likewise i have set a short swipe up gesture for recording a portion of the screen as you can see when i do a short swipe up gesture the screen record for a particular portion of the screen gets enabled here and i can record the screen right here likewise we can set different actions using this particular application and this is an incredible app which every samsung user should use now let's go ahead let me open the application let's see the change log here the new version is 6.6.19 uh, .6 and in the change log it says add recent applications page on quick launcher support split pop-up view on quick launcher uh, applicable for one UI 6 and remove hide handle feature and bug fixes and stability improvements we have got with this all new update now uh, let's go ahead and open the application i'll show you what exactly has changed or what has been added now uh, the moment you open the application you can see left handle and right handle we can set the quick launcher for any of these handles let me just open left handle now here you can see i have already set the quick launcher for diagonal down gesture let me just open this you can of course use any of the swipe actions for that particular gesture now since i've selected quick launcher let me tap on this icon here you can see we have got uh, two three and four number of page columns here and on the top we have got this new feature added here show recent application open application without tapping now I'm going to come to it in a bit let me go to the home screen and let me open a quick launcher using this swipe gesture as you can see we've got the quick launcher here now there are two different pages by default one is the page where we have set the icons or the applications the first page will be the recently used application so this is a new feature uh, now we get to see all those recently used applications uh, on the first page here on this window and when we swipe towards the right we will be able to see all those application icons which we have set on a quick launcher that is the first feature just in case if you want to access the recently used application you can see the first page here to access all the recently used apps you can see i have one hand option Operation open uh, open just now and uh, Galaxy Store open recently. Good Lock and Gallery application open. So all these are showing up right here. That is the first feature. Now let me show you the second feature. The second feature is pop up view or split screen view on the Quick Launcher itself. Let me open Quick Launcher here again. Let me uh, go to the application page. Now when I press and hold on an application, you can see we get split screen or pop up window options. Uh, right here we can directly use this application in split screen or pop-up window let me just tap on pop-up view here you can see the application is opening up in pop-up view now let's open another application and try to open it in split screen view i'll press and hold on the calculator i'll tap on split screen you can see the application is now open in split screen here that is another new feature we have got with this all new update so basically this update brings in the enhancements for the quick launcher action so that is what has changed with this all new update now let's go back to the application let me open left handle again tap on diagonal down on which i have already set the quick launcher now let me tap on a quick launcher settings here now here you can see on the top we have got two toggles one is show recent applications uh, this is the new feature that we have got you can enable it or disable it if you do not want to see the recent application page on the quick launcher you can disable this and uh, another toggle is open application without tapping when you swipe from the edge of the screen to the uh, to open the quick launcher move your finger over the application you want to use the application will open when you lift your finger off the screen now this is also another new feature uh, we will be able to open the applications by just swiping and moving the finger on the particular app on quick launcher let me show you how it works let's go to the home screen i'll swipe down to open the quick launcher and i keep my fingers on the screen i will move the finger on these application as you can see all these applications are showing up right here the icons are popping up you can see i'll just uh, move my fingers and lift my finger here on a particular application the app opens up here so uh, without even removing the fingers we can just move our fingers on the application to open a particular application as you can see i'm just moving around my finger and you can see these application icons on the top i'll just drop i'll just lift my uh, finger the application opens up right here 
that is pretty cool that's a new addition the new feature that we have got with this all new update so this update definitely enhances the usability of the quick launcher action on one hand operation plus application this is just brilliant samsung or the good lock team seems to be adding some very cool features which improves the uh, user experience on samsung galaxy phones and one hand operation is one of those incredible apps from samsung or good lock team which is a must for a samsung galaxy phone user it's very easy to use the phone just use one hand or one finger and uh, execute the actions that you want you can easily set them up on the application and uh, uh, start using it this is just amazing you guys let me know what do you think about this update drop a comment and while you do that be sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye